Welcome to my YouTube video guys. My name is Magnus Davis. Welcome to my channel. I'm a life coach and I help people pursue their passions, create a career around their passions. And I go up to people in the streets and ask them, what are you passionate about? And why are you not doing it for a career? And I wanna, this, the reason I do that is I wanna help people erase their limiting beliefs and give them no reason but to pursue a life, pursue a career that lights them the fuck up. <laughs> That's what I do. So I'm gonna be talking about the number one thing that holds people back from pursuing their dream career. And that is self-belief. Not believing it is possible for them because they don't believe they're good enough. I speak to a lot of people on the streets who say, I wanna be a rock star, I wanna be an actor, I wanna be a footballer. And then I ask them, what are they doing? And they tell me something completely different. And I ask them, why is it that you're not pursuing this? And there's all different stories and it's, it's different for each people, but it really boils down to not believing they can do it, not believing that they can make a success of that career. And when I start to understand the beliefs around why they can't, I start to understand the common denominator, self-critic. We all have an inner critic. We all have that voice in us that tells us we can't do it for any reason but what it comes down to usually is their childhood and more specifically having parents who were very self-critical if your parents were very self-critical it instills this inner critic inside you that every mistake you make needs to be punished so when people get into to adulthood and they do make mistakes they make mistakes in their business in their job in their relationships they start to be overly critical of themselves and they start to punish themselves for it and tell themselves, oh, I, if I act like this, I can't do this, I can't do that. And this creates an inner prison for people. It's like their dreams aren't as far away as they think they are, but because they have this over, overly critical internal dialogue, it makes them believe that their, the life that they want is so far away. When in reality, a few changes to their mindset and a few changes to the way they act and the actions they put out there could lead them to the life that they want to live. And I think the biggest tragedy in life is people having a dream, having potential, which we all do, and not fulfilling it. So this is what I want the YouTube channel to be, to uncover what holds people back and give them no reason but to pursue what they're passionate about. That's what I'm passionate about. So I'm gonna to commit to posting every day because I love doing it. I love helping, I love serving. This is what I do for a living. It's what I do on the streets of the UK. So let's do it on YouTube, man. So let's talk about the inner critic. How do we overcome the inner critic? The first step is awareness. What story am I telling myself? What is my internal dialogue? That's the first step. If you wanna write it down, if you wanna talk it into the camera, whatever works, but become aware of it. Then understand where that originates from. Where does that come from? Does it come from childhood? Does it come from an experience you had? Awareness is key. The second step is to create doubt around that belief. It's a bit windy, I'm not sure if you're picking this up, but the second step is to create doubt around your limiting belief. So thinking of times where I did feel confident, thinking of times I did feel like I could do it, or if you can't think of a time, imagine what that would feel like. Just by doing that, your brain starts to create a new emotion that you've never felt before. And when you're in that emotion, you start to believe that it's possible more and more. And when you believe it's more possible, you start to take new actions. So that's the second step. The third step, once you've created doubt around it, is to tell yourself a new story. And this new story doesn't have to be drastic. It doesn't have to go from, I hate myself to I love myself to the max. It could literally be, it could go from, I don't believe in myself to, I don't believe in myself right now, but I know I can do it in future. Or I know I can develop self-belief. It could be subtle. So you want to start telling yourself a new story. I'm confident. I'm capable. I'm brilliant. I can do this. Start telling yourself a new story. And once you do that, take new actions. Do things that you've never done before. Because what that does is when you take a new action, say if you're socially anxious and you don't believe that you can go up to strangers, 
If you go up to a stranger and shake their hand and look at them in the eyes and act as if you are confident, even if you don't believe it, your brain starts to relate to you in a different way. You start to build a relationship with yourself that you've never built, built before. And that's what we call self-esteem. Building that rapport with ourselves, building that respect with ourselves. Because when we have that respect that, yeah, I can do this, you start to act in a way that transcends your old identity and creates a new identity. When you have that new identity, your actions change and your results change massively. So yeah, that is the step, that's the four steps I'd say, I wouldn't say, the four steps to take to become confident in yourself, become, cultivate that self-belief and therefore cultivate a life that you love. Because when you have the self-belief, you can take, you can start pursuing a career that you love. You can start creating relationships that you love. So that's the four steps. Awareness of the limiting belief. Secondly, creating doubt around the limiting belief, looking for evidence where it wasn't true. Thirdly, is telling yourself a new story. And fourth, is creating new actions and, and creating a new identity for yourself through those actions. That is the four step process. If you have any ideas or any questions of what you'd like to see next, let me know below and I'd be happy to help. Let's go.